Hey everyone, it's the Grumpy Meeple, and I am back with another board game unboxing. This time we're going to be looking at Pitch Car Extension 6. No limit. <laughs> so, yeah, Pitch Car is a game that I quite enjoy. My son enjoys it. This looks like it adds some cool new stuff to it. And so I picked it up at a local store, which amazingly actually carries Pitch Car stuff. Because this stuff is not super easy to find, actually. So, let's just go ahead and crack her open. You can see it just comes in this bag. I don't really have to worry about the components getting damaged in this giant wooden game, basically. So, we've got the little manual flyer here. Shows you some combinations. And not a whole lot else. I would really like to get a hold of, I need to look into seeing if there's some, um, like some documentation on, this should be like an app <clears throat> where you can enter the pieces that you have and it'll generate a track for you. That would be really cool. I don't know what this is referring to right here. This is odd. It's just telling you that you can cut down the rubber pieces if you need to, basically. So, moving on. You can see we've got a new filming setup. This is my ping pong table that I just bought. Usually I throw a mat over it to try and make it more fancy, but I'm not feeling particularly fancy today. I'm feeling tired and worn out. Ready for vacation. Not from this, but just from life. Okay. So, here are all the pieces that you get. Now, let's see if we can figure out just exactly how in the hell you are supposed to put the jumps in. Okay, so... It looks like... Basically... Yeah. So like this small piece, the jump is supposed to go right there. So yes, yeah, so what this does is it adds, among other things, it adds jumps, more jumps to the game. There are already jumps in it. <clears throat> so like you could do something like this, and I assume that it just kind of it's, that's way too high of a jump, but I think that that's the general idea anyways. Yeah, except that you're really supposed to. Oh, okay. No, no. Well, yeah, that does work, but there are specific, like, pieces that are actually designed for the jumps. Like that. And so it'll prop itself up. So if you've played pitch car, I don't have the, the car pieces right now and I'm, I'm not gonna go get them. But um, if I had the car pieces, what you would see is that this basically is a game where you're flicking your little wooden car around. And so what this does is it adds a ramp. So you can go like, boom, you know, or you can go around it. And there's various different combinations based off of which pieces you're using. There are multiple ramps that come in the game. Oh, there's even, oh, that's interesting. It's even like kind of cut down a little bit. I thought it was just a solid piece of wood. I'm not sure which way it's actually supposed to go. Are they different sizes? Yeah, they're slightly different sizes too. Interesting, interesting. This is all very interesting, folks. And it seems like it's pretty specific, actually, as to where each ramp fits, which which is actually good because it would be supremely annoying to have to, like, figure it out. So, you know, you could do something like that, too. So, I'm very excited. This is, um, I've been wanting this for a while because me, my son and I like to play pitch car and, um, this adds a lot of variation to it. And so you can see the other thing you can do is you can start kind of leaving little traps, you know, like this is kind of like a dead zone, so you could fall in there and and crash basically. So 
pitch car is, I'm not going to mince words, it's extremely expensive. This little pile of stuff right here was $40. Um, so, and then these are just runners that make up the kind of boundaries of the track. So it's not cheap and it hasn't gotten played enough to justify its cost so far. But as my kids get older, I think this will get played quite a bit. And this is something that I'm comfortable with them playing with their friends too, without supervision, because it's virtually, you know, indestructible through normal use. So this would be a good game to hand over to them so that they can play when their little buddies come over. And um, yeah, so that's my unboxing of Pitch Car 6. No limit, no limit. <laughs> uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you wanna see more pitch car play on the channel, we could get that going for sure, some more Grumpy and Sons. And uh, I will talk to you later.